Alright folks, welcome back to Besiege. I wanted to do an update video because I've uh, I've changed some things. You might notice that the uh, the Mark IV looks a little different now and that it has a name. It's called the Mark IV. Um, it looks a little different now, not too different, but it looks a little different. Um, I reconfigured the, uh, the steering, at least I think I did, and I reconfigured some propellers and uh, some lift wings. So let's uh, let's take a look at uh, how it flies now. Oh, and also, see those landing gear on the bottom? Ah! <laughs> they go up and down now. So that's fun. Um, the thing flies a lot better than it used to, in my opinion. It's not nearly as sluggish as it used to be. You can see I can go up and down and left and right pretty effectively. It's still kind of a slow turner, but it's not nearly as slow as it used to be. Uh, not in the the first iteration, at least. So now let's let's go and let's go and set her down over here. Beautiful, beautiful. Now let's take off again in first person. Yep, landing gears up. Ooh, pounding box. Whew. Ooh. I, uh, touched, touched the ground a little bit there. The plane's getting real wobbly. I think I lost a prop. <laughs> but it's still, it's still flyable. Here, let's... Let's go and set her down. Yep, I did lose a prop, but uh, it's good to know that you can still fly and land the uh, the craft with uh, a prop gone. <laughs> it's real wobbly, but you can do it. So I think that's pretty cool. I, uh, I I'm really pleased with this. Here's my control surfaces, left and right arrow keys for roll, left and right, up and down arrow keys for pitch, up and down. Uh, I have my y-axis inverted, so when you push up on the arrow keys, you go down. When you push down on the arrow keys, you go up. That's just that makes sense to me uh, in a linear fashion for flying controls because that's well, I, that's the standard for flying controls. So I'm really pleased with this. Now let's uh, let's open up the uh, let's open up the dreadnought because the dreadnoughts had some modifications as well. See, we've got two new props here, and uh, it's got a cannon on the bottom, and instead of uh, extra flamethrowers, and the cannons are now on suspension systems, because they're two, they're power two, which is the maximum power that you can get on modded, and uh, they are the real deal, and uh, we've got good cameras, these, these two cannons here are all, um, yep, that's toggle mode. Still slow as a bus, but uh, we got our uh, got our one and two, three and four, Z and X, our C and our Z, and we also have the right alt cannon, and not to mention the uh, the flight controls are the same. Has a lot smoother turning now. I can look down. Do my five, six, seven, eight. Look left. Look right. Look back. Look down. Look forward. Look everywhere. Look everywhere. Watch everything. <laughs> watch the front. Watch the back. Watch everything. And uh, of course the. Uh, It auto lands when you uh, when you press control. Ta-da! And you you do kind of have to 
leave that toggled on if you want to stay on the ground because it is kind of weightless. So it will uh, it will float around just above the ground if you let go of that. All in all, I'm I'm pretty proud of it as a a flying tank sort of thing. Um, I call it the dreadnought because I mean that's kind of what it is in my in my book. It may not be huge. It is a it is uh, meant to fit inside the bounding box because I used it to beat levels. Um, I've used it to beat quite a few of them actually, uh, just not the one with high wind. <laughs> But it works pretty good. I uh, it works pretty well. I'm really happy with it, and uh, I think that'll be it for today, folks. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out the uh, the updates to the to the creations. And uh, hopefully next time I'll have something new. I think I want to do some kind of a fighter plane. I want to do something that can actually do damage because the the plane I have right now can only really do damage by crashing into things, and not only is that extremely risky, it's also very bad for the plane. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.